the Xbox Series S surely offers the best value for money on the console market right now. However, as an entry level machine, it also has some limitations. In this video, we're going to look at how you can get the best image quality from your Series S whilst using a 4K TV. This will include the best settings regarding upscaling and resolution output, while also try and clear up any confusion around what this machine is truly capable of. First up, let's talk about what resolution the Series S can technically output, as this is where I see a lot of misinformation being spread around. I often see comments from people stating the Series S can only output a maximum 1440p or even 1080p. This is just plain wrong. The Xbox Series S can and does output games at native 4K resolution. There's a bunch of games that output native 4K on the Series S. These include Hades, Kingdom Hearts, Red Dead Redemption, Evil Dead, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Mass Effect Collection and Crisis Remastered. Now granted, these are either older games or small indie games, but that doesn't change the fact that they run at native 4K on the Series S. To be fair, I can see why there's some confusion here, as Microsoft themselves market the Series S as a 1440p machine. So why would they do this if it can output native 4K? I'm guessing it's because they know the majority of game titles won't hit 4K, so they don't want people to be disappointed or feel shortchanged. Many AAA games like Halo and Redfall do run at 1080p on the Series S, but let's be honest, Redfall has bigger issues than the resolution output. So now we know what resolution the Series S can output, let's take a look at the resolution display settings on the console. Here we have three options, 4K, 1440p or 1080p. Obviously if you have a 1080p TV or a 1440p monitor, then set it to match those resolutions. But this video is focused on using a 4K TV as that's what the majority of people use. I have a 4K Sony OLED TV, so I simply set it to 4K output. Now I have noticed some people saying that they set theirs to 1440 or 1080p, even if they're using a 4K display, as it results in a sharper image. In my testing that isn't the case, although the results on this may vary depending on the 4K TV you're using. Obviously I can only test this on my TV. My OLED has excellent upscaling and image processing, so it's definitely best kept at 4K output. Basically, if you have any mid-range to high-end 4K TV made in the last few years, then the image processing should be pretty good, so I'd recommend sticking with the 4K output. And as we discussed earlier, the Series S does output some games at native 4K, so if you have your display settings at 1440 or 1080, then you aren't getting the benefit of those higher resolution games. I guess you could change the resolution output on a game-by-game -game basis, but I simply have mine set to 4K at all times. Another factor in how sharp your games will look is the size of your TV. The bigger your TV, the more you will notice the upscaling and lower resolution textures. I have a 65 inch TV and sit around 2 meters away. At that size and distance you can notice the lower resolution games, but it really isn't a big deal. I know many people use a 49 or 55 inch 4K TV with their Series S, and that is probably the sweet spot in terms of TV size and graphical fidelity. Essentially, the smaller your screen, the sharper the image will look. Overall, I think the Series S offers decent performance and image quality, particularly when you consider the low price point. I do have a Series X as well now, but I'm mostly upgraded for the extra SSD space, not the sharper graphics. In terms of image quality, whilst there is a noticeable difference between the two consoles, I wouldn't say it's a huge upgrade. For most people, a Series S in combination with Game Pass is all you really need. Before I had my Series X, I played a ton of Forza Horizon on the Series S in performance mode at 1080p. And guess what? I had a good time. I wasn't worrying about how sharp the textures at the side of the road are. So I guess that's my overall message here. Get your resolution settings locked in, relax and enjoy your gaming time. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope it helped you out. I've been Tom Hyphen. Like and subscribe for more gaming and tech content. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.